What's up guys, Matty Watson here coming to you from Sydney, Australia. I have never van lifed in this city, so I decided to come here for a week and see what kind of comfortable setup I could find for myself. Um, I'm in a great mood this morning because um, I slept on such a slant, it was impossible not to wake up on the right side of the bed. Thanks to a website called Sydney Spot Finder, I had a few parking places picked out where I wanted to spend the night, but the sun was setting and I was still coming into the city and I saw on the map a little dead end street called Hill Street right near a park. I went with my instinct, pulled over and I found free parking right here on Hill Street. I've just woken up. I'm kind of curious um, how well my gut did in just picking this spot out of nowhere. I really have to go to the bathroom, so I've looked up to see where the nearest toilet is. So let's get out there and get a lay of our land. What's comedy? What? You got some comedy? Huh? You want a comedy? It's bad. What's in comedy? So this van is definitely on a hard angle. I would say a, an obtuse angle. If I uh, can remember my grade 11 math, something I like right away is um, this wall that I've parked against. Usually around these park areas, there'll be uh, front doors like over here on both sides of the street. But if you can get yourself a brick wall on one of your sides, it's just more privacy for you. So you don't have to worry about neighbors opening the door and um, looking right into your bedroom. One red flag that's so big, I would say it's a red banner, would be this giant crane on top of my van over here. Um, that means construction, which means loud noises in the morning, which means not a great sleep. For some reason, it didn't wake me up this morning. I guess uh, everybody's on uh, slow slash stop sign duty. So this area is right on a uh, train line or whatever they call it here, subway, um, Arlington Station. It's got a bunch of old houses, but it seems to have like a bunch of new developments as well, like this apartment building over here, which makes me feel like it's, um, which makes you feel safe. You know, if it's all older houses, you know, that uh, aren't like well kept and they're sort of run down and greasy, you know, it makes you feel like, uh, I don't want to park here. But when they're putting in new buildings, for me, that says, oh, no, they're um, putting more money into this area. Um, therefore, it just, I don't know, feels safer. Feels safer to me. It's also got this cute cafe right here. Kids eat free on Wednesday nights. That'd be good. If you have kids the rest of the week, you can just sort of, uh, they got this space. You can just sort of like tie them up and then you can go in and enjoy your meal. I think another indicator that it's a nice neighborhood is whenever you see these cute little street library cabinet things and um, there's actually books in it, you know? It's not just uh, all emptied out and filled with empty condom wrappers and needles. I love how I was just commenting about how safe this neighborhood is. And I turn the corner and there's three cops talking to this guy over here who's just unloading profanities. However, in this park, there seems to be a closer toilet than the one I was after. Thank you, loud, obnoxious guy. Judging by this door, I would suggest that this is not a 24 hour toilet, but nonetheless, this is still a bathroom. And check out what else this awesome park has. Friggin' water fountain. I'm telling you, for picking a place on instinct, this parking spot isn't bad. Like, I'm certainly on the outskirts, but I mean, there's bathrooms within a five minute walk. There's a place to cook there if I wanted. There's uh, a water fountain to fill up my water. Um, and this is free parking, 24 seven. Because I, 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 don't, I don't typically settle on a spot unless it is free 24-7. Because even if it's free overnight, I don't want to have to set an alarm, you know? Get up, get up in the morning and move it. I have to find something else. I want to be set for the day, you know? Not bad. Not bad, man. It's almost like you've done this before. <laughs> I have uh, pre-prepped, I think, six meals in my cooler. So I'm going to bust one of them out and have some of that. place was great for the night, also great for the day but I'm kind of curious to see if I can find something equally as great, if not better and closer to the core of the city. Come on. Thanks for checking out this video, buddy. If you wouldn't mind just giving it a little thumbs up, throw the channel a sub, and then just send this video to a friend. I'm about to scour the streets of Sydney hunting for the perfect stealth van life parking spot. So tune in next week to find out where you can park for free in this city
24-7. Shout out to my sponsor, Super Sparrow. I would not be able to survive this week in Sydney without my stainless steel water bottle from these guys. They've got a ton of different types of bottles, so check out supersparrow.com and use code MATT25 at checkout to get 25% off your entire order. Thank you for watching, and I'll talk to you next week.